Uh, I do think it's an important one to reflect on where we've come and where we're going. Uh, interventional pain medicine has been an evolving field. If you remember back to the 60s and 70s and 1960, we had uh, epidural steroid injections in the 1970s, epidural steroid injections, we started to develop facet blocks and radio frequencies in the 1980s. So for those of you who have been around this long, you remember that's really what we had in our armamentarium. In the 1990s, we really started to uh, operationalize the use of other approaches, such as spinal cord stimulation. We started to do interdiscal procedures with uh, discography, really was all we did initially. And then we moved into IDET procedures. Uh, the 2000s brought us for typoplasty and hypoplasty, um, and it's something that became much more common throughout uh, the role, uh, throughout the, its widespread use in interventional pain management. I think this decade is making it much more common for the use of other approaches that are beyond sticking a needle in. Um, they start to involve uh, taking little bits of tissue out that are in the wrong place. And it really is a natural evolution of what we do today. And again, we're going to start with the model procedure. Um, I think, you know, it, 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 to take a, uh, the obvious here is interventional techniques really can improve the outcome. Uh, I think our field is, is uh, moving forward very rapidly. We need to have a handle on that. Uh, we need to maintain the integrity of our field um, and not have people just kind of running off doing whatever they can, but to do this in a very thoughtful manner. Uh, I do believe that it's important to have adequate training, um, to continue to use evidence-based medicine and to try to fine tune who does well, and particularly with this procedure, one needs to have rational billing. But when you start to think, okay, this is just like any area of medicine, the mild procedure really does fit in quite nicely. 